Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 13 of my After Effects tutorial series. In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to take things out of your videos, like making that dog disappear, just as you saw right there. I'm also going to show you how to take parts of videos, like let's take this lady and let's send her to the beach. And then on top of that, I'm also going to show you how to take a silverback monkey, throw it into a restaurant, and do all kinds of other things. And I have a lot to do, so let's get into it. Alright, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get rid of this dog in this video using something called Content Aware Fill. So, we're just going to come in here and we're going to create a new composition and 1080p, perfectly fine. I'm going to leave the, the frame rate at 25 because the video with the dog is 25 frame rate. So, let's just go with this. Here it is. I'm just going to get the dog on the beach. All of the videos I use are all royalty free and they are available. Links to them in the description. So I need to shrink this down though because it's a 4K video. So let's just take it down to 50 times its original size. And there it is. All right. So I said we're going to use content aware to go and eliminate the dog. So. What we're going to do, normally what you would do, is the image you're trying to eliminate on the screen is going to be there from the beginning. Well, in that situation, you would always put your pl playhead at the zero frames. But in this situation, that is not true because the dog doesn't show up until pretty late into our video. There's that dog. All right, so we're going to get rid of the dog. And what I like to do is just sort of wait until the dog's totally on the screen and then start getting rid of it. So what we can do here, and there's countless ways to do this stuff. All right, so there is our offending dog that I want to get rid of. Well, you just want to make sure you have the video selected down here. And then you're going to come in to your pen tool right here. And we're going to make a mask for the dog. So we just draw around the dog. And that is what we're going to do. So here we are. And like this. And you're going to be manipulating this picture. And I'm sort of, I mean, the results are going to be amazing. All right. Just right out here without even really trying. But if you really wanted to get your results really awesome, what you would do is you try to get rid of this little bit of a shadow here, which is a, a lot of it's going to disappear on its own. So, you know, that's fantastic. All right, so you drew your first mask. Now what do you do? All right, so you come down here where masks are. You open this up, and mask path is where we are going to keyframe. So just click on that, and now we are ready to go. So what I do now is I just go backwards and forwards through this, and I'm going to use the selection tool. This up here, you can just hit V, and everything's the same on Mac and Windows, by the way. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit Z to zoom in here to my dog. And then I am going to hit V for the selection. And I'm just going to see, okay, well, at this point in the frame, I'm just dragging down here on the playhead. Right here, the dog is off the screen. So I'm just going to double click on this. And I'm going to drag to make sure the dog stays in the frame. I'm going to go back another frame. He's still in there. He's still in there. And at this point, you can come in here and make judgment calls on whether you want to move it completely off so that, you know, as you can see here, the dog's slowly entering your video. And like this, remember, double click on the edge of your mask and then move that back. And then this is all pretty good. Double click and then allows you to move your mask back. And there you go. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to continue to proceed forward and as the dog comes out of the masking area, you are just going to grab and keep it in the masking area. And you're going to do this over and over again. And there we are. And move your frame up. He's pretty close to being inside of there. You might want to resize your frame in here. Very often, that's like one of the easiest ways to keep everything inside of your masking area. There he's completely outside of it. Just double click and keep that dog inside of their mask. All right. And as you can see here, I went and generated quite a lot of different masks. I'm just doing this very tediously to make sure that it comes out really well. And we're getting down to the end of our 
dog mask movement area here and just uh, speed it up a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, okay, that's that's good enough for the dog movements. And you can see right here that the dog isn't moving much at this point. And it is pretty much staying inside of our mast area after that. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so I have all of the different movements of the mask across the entire board. And now what I want to do is I want to make sure Content Aware Fill shows up right here on the right side of the screen. And I also want to make sure that I enlarge it by dragging it down because it's going to take a while to generate everything. And of course, you just go Window, Content Aware Fill, right like that. But the very first thing you're going to need to do is over here in your mask area, right now it's Add, you want to switch this to Subtract. And now, everywhere you see here, that's going to be masked out is now white. I'm going to come down here and click on this and fit so everything fits inside of our screen. I'm just going to drag this little guy over here. And then you come to the different options that are available to you. You're going to have fill method and object is what I'm going to choose. I normally choose object whenever it's an object like a dog. It's something that's moving and it's organic and so forth. Surface would be something like if you wanted to get rid of, say, a bumper sticker or something that was more static. So I'm going to do object and work area is fine. And then you're going to click on generate fill layer. And it's going to take a little bit of time for that to work, but I am going to click on it. And you're going to see analyzing is going to show up here. And depending upon how quick your computer is, this could take quite some time but it will get rid of anything that you want rid of. And you can see here that after it's done analyzing, it is going to render and get rid of all of those masked areas there. And here you can see everything is all done and the dog no longer exists on inside of our video. And there you can see where the dog has been masked out and it is gone, all right? So there is our dog and how we can use Content Aware Fill to delete anything in our videos that we don't like. Now what I'd like to do is go and get this woman right here. So woman walking. And I'm going to drag her down here and drop her on top. Now, of course, you could do all of this editing directly in a completely different composition. But I'm going to have her walk on the beach instead of walking around in this cold, terrible place. All right, so what are we going to do with her? How are we going to cut her out? Well, we're going to use something called rotoscoping. And to do that, what we're going to do is double click on this. And we're going to work on this layer right like this. And then we are going to, I'm going to come down here so I can fit everything inside of here. There she is. And you want to be kind of rough with this. And this is the rotoscoping area up here. It's going to be either Alt or Option W. So Roto Brush Tool. And what you're going to be able to do is either go and hold down Command or Control. If you drag to the right, the Roto Brush is going to get bigger. And if you drag to the left with your mouse, it's going to get smaller. And what you want to do is sort of like rough this in and you don't want to go outside of the area. You want to sort of just stay inside of here. All right. So and it's sort of a lot of it's sort of just roughing areas in and doing the best that you can do. All right. So let's just try it. So let's come in here and you can see it's green. And there is that. And you're going to try to find the lady. And I on purpose picked this. This is going to be a very hard thing to rotoscope. And because everything's gray, basically, her clothes are gray, her background's gray, the phone's black. I mean, everything is very hard to rotoscope about this. And then after this, I'm going to show you how to rotoscope the monkey, who surprisingly, even though it is covered with tons of hair and such, is actually very easy to rotoscope. So, whoops, I just slipped. It doesn't matter. After Effects is very friendly and you can normally get pretty good results. Now, this isn't going to be perfect results, but like I said, I want to show you something that's hard to deal with so that you can get, you know, pretty good results with stuff that's complex to deal with. All right, so now you can look at this and you can see the purple is what we're selecting. So it's selecting over here and we don't want all that. No problem. So we want to get rid of this excess area here. So again, I'm going to hold down 
and on my command. Let's drag this down like this. And then I'm going to go and hold down on either Alt or Option. And I'm going to sort of rotoscope out what I do not want to be as part of my selection area. So there we are. And I'm being a little, I'm going a little bit closer than I need to, even if I overlap into the lady here a little bit. That's perfectly okay. So I'm basically defining what I don't want and I don't want all of that stuff. So it's like a weird sort of selection tool. And there's a little bump over here I do not want. So I'm gonna just come in here and you try to get rid of that. Good job. And I can tell you the areas where things are going to be difficult is gonna be right in this area, as you will see here soon enough. So again, I'm gonna go Z, I'm gonna come in here to this area right here, and I am going to do the rotoscope again, Alt or Option W, and we're going to hold down the Alt or the Option key to select what we do not want. So I do not want this area in here. It's normally pretty good, and it got pretty close. Again, Command or Control, we're going to shrink this down, and we're going to try to find or define the area we do not want again. So I'm just going to say I don't want all this white inside of here, so let's go and get rid of that. And there we are. And as you will see, eventually we're going to get to a point where it's going to be pretty difficult to clean it up. And it's basically just going to require some manual editing because this is kind of hard to rotoscope. But like I said, I want to show you what's hard so that whenever you, you know, you can handle the hard stuff. And uh, there you go. And maybe change the way, you know, what you're editing and things like that if need be. So let's come in again and Z and zoom in here and do some more rotoscoping. So again, Option and W and come in and select what you got here. And then we'll get into selecting the hair, which we're going to use as a different tool. All right. Now I grabbed way too much stuff. Again, I'm going to go Command and drag it to the right with the mouse. And let's just go and get a lot of this area out of here by going option and cutting out all of the stuff that we do not want. All right, so get rid of all of this. Don't select it and see how good of a job it does here. All right, and up to here and right there. And it just, it's back, it's like a back and forth here in the beginning. And after a while, it gets pretty good and figures out what you are aiming to select and what you're not aiming to select. All right, so right now it's looking pretty good for me. I'm gonna come down here again and I'm gonna fit everything into the screen. And now what I'm sort of concerned with here is what is going on, well, I am going to go fit again. And what I'm concerned with here is what is going on with the hair. So that is the number one concern. So you can see right here, there's a gap here and all this. Well, you use a different tool for that. So the tool we're going to use is right here and it's Refine Edge Tool. And what you're gonna do with your Refine Edge Tool is you're probably not gonna go around the clothes. It depends. What I like to do is you're basically gonna trace your purple line with it. So like this, and it's going to sort of find like the hair that is out here. You're gonna see a really good example of this whenever we go and try to rotoscope our monkey, how good of a job it does. So there's that. And you can see it's sort of like an alpha pattern and the black is what it's not getting, the white is what it is getting. So you can see it's getting those individual hairs, which is ridiculously cool. All right, so again, stay roughly on your purple line and come in and it will do a pretty doggone good job of selecting hairs and, and just doing a really good job of selecting things in general, as you can see right there. All right, so there's all that. Very good stuff, very good results. And we can do a fit. And then at this point, what we were going to do is go and actually figure out how to get rid of this background. We're gonna go inside of here where it says toggle alpha boundary, and we're gonna select that. And you can see the background went away. And you can also see, hey, it got rid of my phone. I don't want it to do that. So we're gonna go back into the roto brush tool 
and it's green as hopefully you can see right here and let's come in here and let's get our telephone and bring that back in and hopefully it will select it and there's the phone back again all right so there is our telephone and we can go and scrub through here and see what type of results we have in regards to selecting the lady and pulling her out of that world and it's going to render and sometimes it's going to take a long time it depends upon how fast your computer is all right so it's done rendering and what we can do now is go back to our composition and you can see right here all of the errors so you would think the errors would be in the hair not really hair is fantastic where the errors are with this specifically is right here so we have our white area right here and it's sort of not recognizing the difference between that and the light gray suit all right but in general it looks really good and the lady is walking down the beach so what you can do here is to go in and just tediously make changes to this artwork so we're going to come in here and we are going to once again with our roto brush tool we are going roto brush tool up here we are going to come into these specific areas and try to wipe out what we don't want and of course it's going to be easier to edit this if we are in our woman walking layer and we come specifically here and click on toggle alpha boundary so you can see where the purple line is and we're going to shrink it by going command and dragging to the left here like that and then we're going to come in and try to get rid of this individual little white area right here that we do not want now this is a little bit tedious like i said anytime you're going to be dealing with light grays and whites and things like this it's going to be tedious but you're going to go frame by frame and eventually it's going to get very very close to exactly what we are looking with and or looking for and then you're going to go to the next frame and just keep adjusting this over and over again which means going and getting rid of this white area that is inside of here the best that you can and like this now you're going to be able to do different blending options and so forth and so on as well for example we can go up to effect controls and you can see all of the roto brush and refine edge tools that we have right here um to be honest though i i have gotten the best results just by going in and getting rid of the offending areas you can play around with feathering which i'm sure you know what it's going to do for you it is just going to blur the edges shift edge you're going to be able to get the edge and either constrict it inwards or expand it outwards and then you're going to have different other smoothing and feathering and basically every single type of artwork you're going to work with is going to motion blur normally almost never works but uh depending upon what type of artwork you're working with you're going to get different results another thing that you're probably going to want to be able to do is to make your artwork look better on but depending upon what your background is because you're taking an image taken from completely different lighting sources and bring it into a completely different area well what you're probably going to want to do in this situation is go to effects and presets and then you can type in curves like this and this is what you want this curves right here so you can just go and drag that down here drag it onto your woman walking and then play around you can either mess around with all rgb red green blue or alpha and you can go and try to blend your character that you have here that you've pasted in into what you have just by dragging these different curves and that again is going to be what you know it's going to be up to your preferences for what looks like you know what looks right that obviously does not look right so you're going to want to sort of just drag these curves until you get your character from a completely different video and paste her in here and have her look as good as humanly possible all right so that is an example of how we can go and get kind of a difficult image out of a video post it into another video and then work with it in multiple different ways and now i'm going to show you how to go and get that silver back monkey and throw them into the middle of a restaurant so first thing i'm going to do is go to project 
And then I am going to go and we can get, let's just make a new composition. Uh, new composition. Well, first, let's look and see what our silverback monkey is. So silverback, and this is going to be 4K, and it's going to be 25 frames per, per second. So I'm going to do new composition, and I'm going to leave it be the 1080p, but 25 frames per second. Everything else here exactly the same, and click on OK. I'm then going to go and get my restaurant background, drop that inside of there. So there you go, there is our background for our restaurant. And what is the size for that? That's 1080p. So what we're gonna do now is take our monkey and put him in right here. So I'm gonna go silver back and drag him and drop him into our video. And there he is. All right, so I need to shrink him down a lot. So I'm gonna go into transform and scale and let's take him down to say like 50 and see what it works like. Okay, it's still way too big. So I'm gonna shrink him down even more because I'm gonna kind of make it look like he's sitting in this restaurant. All right, so what I do, I shrunk it down to 25 and I'm going to drag him down here and put him right here so that he just goes off the screen. And that looks kind of cool. And I'm just gonna make sure he stays off the screen a little bit. All right, so what am I gonna do with him now? Well, I need to edit him, so I'm gonna double click on him before I use the Roto Brush tool on him. And I'm going to go and hold down Command and expand the size of this. Now again, with the Roto Brush tool, you want to not go off the edges. You wanna stay inside of the edges, and then you just wanna sorta of select the monkey without going outside of the edges but you don't have to be super, super detailed. All right, so there's the monkey. And I'm gonna, with something like this, I'm gonna sort of select part of it because he's taking up so much of the screen. And I think it did it. Oh no, it didn't. Okay, very often whenever you're trying to select something that takes up the vast majority of your video space, it is going to be very easy to have it just say, you know what, this is almost the whole video, so let's just select the whole video something that happens a lot. So what I wanna do, again, I'm not holding down shift or anything when I'm selecting these different areas. I'm just trying to get as close as I can without going over because I wanna use my edge tool to collect the hair on the monkey, all right? And I'm sort of just being a little bit careful here because like I said, I'm trying not to select the entire video. If I do, it's not the end of the world by any stretch of the imagination, but there we are. Okay, so, and I'm probably gonna end up selecting the whole video. Let's see, and there we go and I selected the entire video. All right, so let's come in here and let's go and hold down the red key and or hold down the option or alt and let's deselect now and see if this works good for us. So like that and deselect and there it's looking better. And let's come in and deselect. And sometimes, you know, you just have to do different things until you get it as close as you can get it. And again, red. Remember, I'm trying to get rid of the stuff that I do not want selected. And there you are. Pretty good. Now what we're going to do is, once again, we're going to go up to here and refine edge tool to try to select the hairs on the monkey and again we're going to be dragging on the edges roughly of the purple selection that we have here and then it is going to do an amazing job of coming in and selecting all of the hairs on the monkey which is amazing and see look at that look how cool that is all right good job and then we'll go this way and drag this down here and there we are. And you're gonna see an example here of how awesome After Effects is at going and taking something from one video and putting it into another versus what we saw previously. All right, I see there's gonna be a little bit of problems inside of here. Anywhere you have like a light gray, there's gonna be a little bit of a problem, but that's no big deal. Okay, so we got our selection area and we're gonna come down right here and click on the little purple thing. You can see how it's highlighting the different hairs and so forth. Select it again, and you can see how it is going and getting rid of the backgrounds. And you can see also where it's getting a little bit of the different selections and so forth. 
I'm then going to go back into our composition and you can see there is our monkey sort of just sitting there chilling out. Now you can see that you can see through his head a little bit. If that's at all a problem, we can come in here and right again with our rotor brush tool, you just select that rotor brush tool. And then, like I said, don't go past because this is a, you know, there's a lot of hair here. So we just are going to try with all we can to not go beyond that point. And, you know, like that, because we don't want to all, you know, we're, we have pretty good results. We don't want to accidentally go and select the entire video, you know. All right. So again, come in here and try and get rid of that background by selecting all the monkey right here. And I think that's pretty good. And then we can go back to our composition, check it out, figure out what's going on and see if we got any better. Composition. And there's like a little bit of a green inside of here. What we can do now with our monkey is come in and again, I did effects and presets, curves, drag it down here onto our silverback monkey. And then we could say maybe make it a little bit darker, darker, so that the monkey maybe fits into this nightclub atmosphere restaurant look here a little bit better. I don't know. It's all depending upon what you're looking to do <laughs> with whatever artwork you're working with. All right. So maybe that looks good. There is our monkey and then we can render it out and see how it turns out. And there you can see our silverback monkey is in the restaurant looking super awesome. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.